On Fridays, we like to tell you something good. The middle of February means basketball season is wrapping up for high schools across the Ozarks. Niangua, a tiny town in Webster County, has had a season to remember in more ways than one. Natalie Nunn brings you the story. Ashton Stuber. Cadence Nifong. Allie Petty. Addie Terry. Ashton Calloway. Right there, you met the entire team for the Niangua Lady Cardinals. They have played with five girls nearly every single minute of every single game this season. No subs, no foul outs, and no injuries all season long. What could be a nightmare for most coaches is another day in the gym for Coach Clint Gazette. It's impossible to do what they're doing. It's not impossible, but it's impossible to show up every night and play every game. Senior Cadence Nifong agrees. It's really hard. <laughs> For the two seniors, two juniors, and one sophomore, not only have they shown up and played every game, they've had a competitive season. I really expected to get, like, one of us at least get hurt, and then the season just end up gone. But that's not the case. These girls have played through pain and a pandemic. And teams that are, you know, 15 kids deep, and, and we're playing with five. As postseason play begins, Coach Gazette knows his five girls will be ready to play and play hard until the final buzzer sounds. They never quit. Uh, we could be down 15 and they think there's a 15 point shot somewhere out there. In Niangua, Natalie Nunn, Ozarks first. I love that. They think there's a 15 point shot out there. The Lady Cardinals have ended the regular season with a record of 13 and 10. District play begins on Monday night when they take on Hurley.